music video looking at gangsterism in a different light is taking social media by storm. We get to know the man behind the Busman project. I come from a community that's broken, completely broken. I do a lot of work now with a, with a group, an NGO called Ceasefire. And they're a great group because they save lives. Right on our doorstep we have a war. A war raging on in, in Hanover Park. We have a war raging in Mannenberg. I'm talking about people's lives. Why are those people's lives not important? You know, and, and when people speak about gangsters, you know, I'm one of the lucky ones to get out of that system. Every one that makes it out, there's a thousand left behind, you know, left and stuck in that, in that situation. And uh, what was, uh, what really hit me now in my adulthood is, is my best friend growing up. Oldsmo stabbed his brother, selling tuk, addicted to tuk. This was my best friend growing up. We played currencies together, we hide and seek, all of these kind of things, you know. I don't have a negative connotation attached to that. And because I have these really vividly beautiful memories of this guy. But now when you hear it on the news, the gangsters, the tuk kopper, the thing is, it's easy to dehumanize these people. But in, when, when you're from there and you know this, you know that guy was a, he was a quiet old, you know? You know, so it's this, it's this real mish, mishmash of completely negative memories and experiences mixed in with the most beautiful memories and people and those kind of things. And it's really tough to, and this is what the song is about. It's, I'm not even trying to preach in the song. It's just kind of like saying, look, you make up your mind about, about this. And it's speaking actually to colored people, you know, like the good and the bad. And I think that's in the video and the song, that is what's resonating with people. The Busman project may not have set out to get all this attention, but it is not unwelcome as it sheds light on gangsterism. Mia Spies, Eyewitness News, Cape Town.